I'm just trying to wish you a happy birthday. We have 24 kangaroos and three chunky wombats. Feeding time. There's enough boys. Approximately two years ago, a little orphaned wombat came to us weighing in at 660 grams. He needed our care as his real mama had been hit by a car and she died. <laughs> Wadu was cute and was so easy to look after. I placed him down my shirt most of the time as he could hear my heartbeat and he knew he was safe. As he grew, his personality just blossomed. I'm trusting you, buddy. I'm trusting you, little man. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Wadu lived inside with us. Well, sort of. Rather than we lived inside with him, he was sort of the boss. He made us laugh out loud so often. <laughs> like me. <laughs> Get rid of that hat. He would dig all my clean washing out of the basket and curl up in it. He would sleep on the couch watching TV with us. He would follow us on walks. Oh, oh, oh. He bonded really closely with Bronte and they had this game that they would play. Wadu would leap into Bronte's hands. Oh, good man. Wadu would even let Bronte put his finger into his mouth and not even bite him. Wombats have pretty big teeth. If he was going to bite anyone, he'd seek me out and bite me every time. I spent like sleepless nights feeding this little critter and as soon as he turned into a teenager, he dumped me and joined in the boys club, which only included Wadu and Bronte. So this is Wadu's little new home. Hello. Two years down the track, Wadu lives outside now like real wombats should. Bronte goes out every night to Wadu's enclosure. He sits on Wadu's cushioned little bed and feeds him a bottle of warm milk and spends so much time out there just snuggling. Funny man, what? We have set up a GoFundMe to build all three wombats the best spaces possible as these orphaned rescues must stay with us for life. It's a huge commitment but so worthwhile because we're giving another living being a second chance in life.